Hey everybody, uh, today, today I'm going to work on trying to replace this lock. When we bought this RV, we do not have a key to this lock, so we need to replace it no matter what. But if you know me, you also know that I'm a bit of a tech geek and I like uh, automation, I like electronics, I like things that work well. So I'm going to be attempting to, to replace them the lock itself with a regular quick set i've actually already tried another one from sledge that did not work um and i'll show you why in a minute but uh, i'm going to try this quick set and then i'm going to put an august wi-fi smart lock on the back of it on the inside what this will do is two things one <laughs> is it will well you can't see them in here but they're in there they're in there they're way down there it will give us a set of keys for this lock, so then we'll have a key for the deadbolt. Uh, and it will give us the ability to open the door with our cell phone, uh, just using either Bluetooth, or I think we can open it remotely using Wi-Fi, like if somebody else were to come by, maybe check on Julie the puppy or something, uh, we could open it remotely. I thought it was cool because then what we can do is instead of carrying a key on our key ring, uh, what we can do is keep one key in our car and keep another key in one of those magnet lock things somewhere stuck to the underside uh, of the RV in, in one of the compartments or somewhere where it's difficult to find, but we know where it is if we ever needed it, if, if this ever failed for any reason. Maybe even a third option, I may make another key and send it to one of our daughter's houses and let them keep it in case we need to uh, uh we have a total catastrophe and can't get in so this is what the outside looks like looks pretty standard um like i said i've already had this off before and the reason why i'm going with the august uh smart lock is because of this plastic piece right here a lot of the other smart locks have this really long uh piece that is a battery and electronics and all that stuff and it just would not fit on here but that august lock is round and i think it'll fit nicely right inside this area right there and then it'll work we'll see uh, let me get some of this uh taken apart and then uh, you gotta turn it there so you can get to these screws let me get it taken apart and then uh, we'll show you what's going on what you've seen here is pretty standard lock mechanism now what I found last time push that is the outside piece is kind of like holding this up <laughs> when I pull this out it's gonna drop down but I also notice see behind here I don't know if you can see that shape so it looks like this pin can be has some wiggle room and that is the actual deadbolt piece that if I needed to, I, mean, I could take this panel off, but I don't, I don't think I need to. I just hold it up, put the new piece in, and we'll see what happens. I moved into the shade, because the shade is our friend. So here's this quick set. Those are new keys. We'll have keys, yay. Alright, so here's the big test. Oh, I don't think it's going to work. Ah. So the problem I had with the last lock was this right here. Oh, it comes off. Never mind. Maybe I'll be good. The last lock, see this, see this little piece right here? It creates a kind of a, a raise. It's, it's too big. The circle here is too big to fit in the hole on the outside of the uh, 
of the RV, but with this piece being able to be removed, I think that's going to work nicely. And this is square. It's not actually square. I don't know if you can see that, but the top of this is, is oval. So it's flat on three sides and it's rounded on the top of this thing. And that meets the, uh, uh, the way it is on the door as well. So let's go give this a shot. Let me show you how that part works. So this is the outside where that last uh, deadbolt piece was. Uh, that's that uh, a piece of metal. <laughs> um, and so this needs to go through here. I know the deadbolt isn't there, but I just want to do a little, it's kind of a little test fit real quick to see. Oh yeah, this is gonna be nice. Main thing I wanted to see here is, is it gonna sit flush up against the door? And it is. Because then I can, I don't, maybe not have to, but I can go put some sealant on there just to keep from getting water intrusion inside. Because I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's metal. And on, on top of the metal, looks like there might be some rubber material. On top of that, there's some wood. And on top of that is the fiberglass laminate surface. So if water got in there, that wood layer could get uh, deteriorated over time we don't want that to happen so i'm gonna have to put the camera down to do this but i gotta have two hands so i'm gonna lift this up like that and um put the pin of the deadbolt through there and i'll get this going Oh, you know what? Those are the wrong screws. <laughs> There's another screw packet here. So don't always go with the only long screws. What surprised me is that those were wood, uh, a wood screw usually has a pointier end and it, the, th the threads are, are, are bigger, more spaced apart. A machine screw typically has a flat end. It doesn't have to, but the threads are also closer together. This is for screwing into like a nut, All right? This is a bolt that screws into a nut. This would screw into wood <laughs> or something like that. And these uh, help grab a hold of it. You probably know that though. But the main thing I want to make sure first is that this works. Look at that. Let's try the keys, make sure they work. Sweet. We have keys to our camper now. Let's take a look at this August Smart thing. This is what's in it. This is the Smart Lock. So I think I'll end up taking off the actual turnkey part. And this here will attach to that uh, shaft that's in the middle. And then you can actually just turn this whole thing to open and shut it. Or you can use the Bluetooth on your phone. And this is kind of a neat thing too. The battery compartment, I think if you push on here, yeah, I can see this, but this top part pops up there. And that's how you get to the batteries, which is a pretty sweet uh, ingenuous, ingenuous, ingenious? Yes, an ingenious uh, kind of invention. And you might think, that doesn't seem very secure. Somebody could open it and take your batteries. So I was like, yeah, but this is on the inside. <laughs> This whole thing is on the inside. There's also some kind of, looks like a, some kind of adapter plate. So it goes on here somehow. However that goes, I don't know. We'll read the instructions. Maybe we'll just wing it. No, we'll read the instructions. And then some foamy piece. Probably to help make it quiet. And there's, oh, look at this. Not that, look at this. There's different, these these go inside here, inside the circle part. Um, and these are for different types of uh, deadbolt things. So you can see this one right here, that's, that's the one, the green one here is the one we have. Remember it was flat on three sides and then it was rounded on the top. That's this green one. This green one, I guess is gonna, yeah, pop in there. There you go. And then when you turn this, it'll 
See, that's locked in. Pretty cool. All right, I gotta figure out how to attach it. What's this? Oh, this is a sensor. I saw this on the box. I didn't know what it was for. Um, maybe I saw it on the shelf. It said like comes with a, oh yeah, right here. Includes, I don't know if you can see that. Includes door sense, a sensor that tells you when your door is open or shut. That's this. I don't know if this is gonna work considering we're, this is, you know, most applications is gonna be a wood door. Uh, this is metal uh, and um, fiberglass and other things, so I don't know if this is going to work. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm sure that's a, after everything is done. And this is some blue tape. <laughs> Alright. Let me uh, pause for a minute here and go get my phone and see what's up. I got my phone. That's my grandson. That's when he's a little baby. <laughs> so you can see we're recording this on December 9th. It probably won't even come out till January. But um, let me record this. There we go. That'll be easier to see. So August, let's click on here, and we're going to go through this thing. How shall we begin? Set up a new device. So we're going to set up a new device. It is a smart lock. It is... I had trouble with this when I went through uh, earlier. All it says is Wi-Fi Smart Lock. See how you got Smart Lock 4th, 3rd, 2nd, 1st Gen, Lock Pro. It doesn't say that, but it does say Wi-Fi Smart Lock, and none of these say Wi-Fi. So, I'm assuming it's that one. Let's set up our lock. Scan the code. Position the QR code in front of your camera. Scan. QR codes are typically inside the battery cover. Oh, got to keep reading. So, I showed you that earlier. Hard to do through one hand. Oh, there it is. QR codes. Not like that. Maybe this one. Oh, look at that. Serial number and everything. Please make sure your device is physically installed. Then press continue. Or you can view installation instructions. Uh, installation instructions because I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, install guide. I'll need a screwdriver got one of those uh, and these adapters and adhesive strip and some of these other stuff okay prepare your existing deadbolt oh that's what the tape is for <laughs> all right we're gonna put this we're gonna follow these exactly I'm gonna show you <laughs> this is a painter's tape so I'm sure it's fine just want to let you know I'm following the directions so if it doesn't work it's gonna be on August Next. Three of 13, good grief. All right, re remove your existing thumb turn, that thing that I just installed a few minutes ago. Uninstall that thing I just installed. Let's try to keep up with our trash. Might need these bolts again, I don't know. Unscrew and remove the screws from your existing deadbolt. If there is an additional back plate, remove that as well. Be sure to unlock your deadbolt before removing. Okay, done. Prepare the mounting plate. That's this thing. This thing that I can't get out of there. Prepare, how do I know which way is up? This looks like up because of the indention on that, on this piece right here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see that right. Just drop those screws in there. Okay, that's what they did. Optional cover plate. If the mounting plate does not cover the bore hole, use the optional cover plate in addition. Okay, so let's see if that covers. See, they should have told us to test fit this first, and then we know. Does this cover that hole? Answer is yes. So we do not need the additional 
whole plate cover thingy. Ugh. I'm always not sure what moderate. What is moderately? Use the adapter kit that comfortably fits the shape of your lock's tailpiece in the unlocked position. Okay, so that's that green piece. Does it, does it, it says use it. Does it mean put it on now? Oh, now you put it on. <laughs> Attach the correct adapter onto the tailpiece. Okay, yep. Open, open wiring latches. All right, let's go back to the table. Let's go back to the table here and see what we can. Open wiring. Oh, that's cool. Is that it? How they call those wiring? Oh, wing latches. I can't read. Wing latches. Those look like wing latches. Look, it's flying away. Open wing latches. Attach your smart lock. Attach it to the mounting plate. Make sure that the back of the lock is flush with the door and the outer ring is correctly orientated relative to your deadbolt. To secure the lock, clamp down both wing latches to the mounting plate completely. Lock and unlock the door by turning the outer ring. Oh, cool. We're almost... This is like a pretty easy installation. We'll see. Alright. <clears throat> Attach the ring. Is that good? This oh, yeah. It is on there. Uh oh. Hey, that's not working. This feels springy. That's definitely getting a dead end. So... Oh, see, they didn't tell you this in the directions. Before you attach it, you want to make, you want to hold, hold the back plate and turn this to the unlock position because that's the current position of the deadbolt this to the unlock position so that when you attach it you have room to turn or maybe they told me and I didn't read it oh that is cool <laughs> that's cool all right let's see what the let's see what the next step is Remove the face plate, press down and remove the battery tab. While holding the battery, pull the tab. Oh, blinky light. Make sure that the batteries are properly set, sated in there, okay? Replace the face plate. Place the face plate back on your smile. Like all right, so we're back. My device is installed. Oh, I'm excited. I'm gonna skip the dead, the, the door sense because I don't think that's gonna work. Make sure you're standing near your smart lock. You remove the battery tab and any remaining adhesive. Scanning for devices. It's scanning for devices. Name our house. Rolling with the Russells. Upload a photo. Oh, that's cool. We'll go with that one. Might have to take another photo later. Oh, 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 how do I go back? 
They put apostrophe S in there. <laughs> Rolling with the Russells does not have apostrophe S. I know some of my English teacher friends out there would be very, very happy that I know that. Front door. We'll have to go back and fix that. Enabling and configuring your lock. All right. Firmware is up to date. Continue. Let's calibrate your lock so the app knows how to operate it with your door. Okay. Make sure your door sense is properly installed before. No, no, use door sense. Disable door sense. Lock only calibration will disable door sense. Without door sense, you will lose the ability to detect if your door is open. Use the instant auto lock or receive door or jar notifications. Continue. <clears throat> Rotate the lock until your door is locked. Check. Rotate the lock until your door is unlocked. Check. Your lock has been safely calibrated. So we're going to skip through to Wi-Fi. Oh, a bird just flew under our RV. All right, so this is, I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, I think it's safe to remove the tape. <laughs> it's on there real good. And uh, so I wanted to test something and that is making sure if I don't have Wi-Fi, does this still work? And the short answer is yes. So it will connect via Bluetooth and I can still lock and unlock it. So that's how you install an August, August smart home lock on your RV. Pretty cool.